Howdy y'all and welcome. This is Mike from It's Fine Gaming. We're back in home brew and today we're going to be taking a look at a coaxial rotor helicopter. As usual, let's go ahead and start with center of gravity. On this model, I have uh, its coaxial rotor, so I have both uh, rotors on the same axis, which we can see my center of gravity is very close to. I think it's a little forward, but it's good enough to allow um, good maneuvering capabilities. Okay, so center of gravity is in good shape. Uh, the motors, I decided not to have clipping into each other um, to conserve space or anything like that. Uh, that's an aesthetic choice, but uh, another more uh, important reason I decided to put them 180 degrees from each other was uh, the center of gravity of one motor is roughly here. Now if I had both of them in the front, the center of gravity for both would be here, and that would mean I'd have to counter with my other parts and components and try to put, th put things to the rear or vice versa if I had both of them on the rear I had to put a, a lot of weight in the front. So by putting them 180 degrees from each other uh, balances their both of the uh, center gravities and puts it roughly about here already in line with the shaft which allowed me to have greater freedom to have uh, to place things uh, below it. Um, see we've got our pilot in the front uh, gyroscope underneath fuel tank in the rear all keeping everything in balance and uh, I believe this is the first model that I am uh, I, I have on video that actually has a job for the uh, passenger uh, he is in control of the missiles and uh, the uh, machine guns on both sides um, I guess that's pretty much sums it up let's go ahead and take a look at the controls now on this model the controls were uh, much much simpler uh, I still used a controller although I think mapping it on the keyboard wouldn't be too difficult uh, so let me go ahead and demonstrate uh, I have forward pitch and rear pitch and I've got my roll right here now one thing to note because I have this motor facing this way and this motor facing the rear the controls for the rotors are actually inverse from each other so if I have an axis here, I need to inverse that same axis. Otherwise, the rotors are always going to be 180 degrees out of phase of each other, and um, you won't be going anywhere because the f forces will always balance. Uh, we'll see. Oh, so we have pitch, roll. Now our yawn, you may notice we don't have a tail. Our yawn is controlled by, let me unlock the screen here, get a better look at our rotors here. The yawn is controlled by my bumpers. As we've discussed before, you, uh, if you want to try to counter the natural rotation that uh, one rotor is going to cause, put another rotor on and have it going in the opposite direction. And I can demonstrate that right here. So this is going; these two rotors cancel each other out, uh, leaving the uh, helicopter in a neutral state, uh, so to speak. It's not going one way or the other. Now. If I ramp up the RPMs a little bit and I hit one bumper, it's going to slow one rotor down and speed the other one up. And the other bumper does the exact opposite. And as soon as I release, the motors will uh, uh, return to the RPM that they were uh, both at prior. This allows one rotor to overpower the other, which will cause yawning in one direction, and then I can reverse it by the other bumper and yawn in the other direction. Let's go ahead and take it out for a spin then. Alright, so I have in the bottom screen, uh, bottom left of the screen, my RPMs. The top RPM should be the top rotor uh, in the bottom of the bottom and my speed and altitude. Let's, uh, I do have free look on because I don't have to use my uh, rotors independently other than with the bumpers. So let's go ahead and start ramping it up and see at what RPM we can actually take off. About 25. And we can max out at 7,000. That's not bad. We're, we're good. We're well underweight. Okay, let me back down to maybe a hover. 
Okay, so we can pitch forward, pitch back, roll. All right, now let's test our yawn. You can see the blades going at different speeds, maybe in a better angle. This has uh, been a quick look at a coaxial helicopter and uh, homebrew. This is Mike from It's Fine Gaming. I appreciate you watching and hope to see you again.